Welcome to On the Sevens. We'll be discussing the death of Morgan Freeman's granddaughter, 33 years old, stabbed to death by her boyfriend. He was an aspiring rap artist and it by, goes by the name of Lyric. Uh, he had two children, not with Adina, but he is also taken into custody previously for drug and alcohol abuse. It was witnessed by a neighbor uh, on the third floor who heard him screaming as he was stabbing her, cast out you devils. So from that point, they were saying that it was an exorcism that was being performed. Uh, how scary is the thought of that? And that's where mental illness comes into play. There are a lot of people that suffer from mental illness that we're not aware of. Just like the shooting that happened in Texas with the 55 year old shooter. He was 55 or 53. He also suffered from mental illness. He had an order of protection from his own family. And from that point, it was not much that they can do because he did not want to seek any help. So from that point, this is where I come in and I say, well, what happened to all the federal funding for the programs to help people with mental illness? They're taking people out of the programs, uh, programs, and just releasing them into the community where they can wreak havoc against themselves as well as the people, other people who reside in their community. What are we to do with that? Do we trick them into taking medication? What is it? There are so many things that we shoulda, coulda, would do, but what is it that we can actually do? So instead of having them in these programs, we put them into another program, the, the one that the you know, federal government calls a great rehabilitation program, incarceration. So they get picked up and taken into custody several times for either petty things or maybe even burglary or murders or what have you. So what do we do from that point after this rehab has not worked? They're in the system for so many years, not doing what they need to do as far as getting assistance with their problem. Let's help them. These programs, we need to do a little bit more as far as people in society not suffering to assist them. Pushing forward, Trump running for president. I think that's the biggest joke that I've seen thus far. <laughs> Woo! But you know what? A percentage, 28% actually, of non-college graduates make up a majority of his votes thus far. And the ones who are college educated is a measly 16%. Hmm, take that, Trump. Now, as far as I'm concerned, he has belittled race, as far as race, uh, gender. What else could he possibly talk about? Huh, just wait. I'm sure he's going to show us in a little while. You definitely won't be getting my vote. Huh. Ain't that right, Convo? Yes. Now, I'm not going to talk much more about that because I feel my blood pressure increasing. So moving forward, Hillary Clinton and these emails, what's the big deal? So what? She got a haircut, maybe called her boyfriend on the side. Y'all know she has one. Clinton had one, so why can't she have one? <laughs> so all this classified information, it's increased how many times? First it was like 150, then it was 300, and now it's like 335 or around that number. Whatever the information is, it doesn't matter. Just as long as it's not the code for the nuclear code to like blow up another, you know, country. I don't see what the big problem is. Get over it. Email shmemail. We have Trump talking about, you know, Hispanics being the worst people, but yet he's not being put on the skewer for saying all type of crazy things. But Hillary and her emails, I think that's quite minuscule. Really? Our priorities are all jacked up in America, I might say, but who am I? So, huh, that was a lot. Huh, just giving you a little bit of on the sevens. Don't be the last one to be in the convo, so join it. Till next time. Mm -hmm.